And away from that, eminent Nigerians have called for an overhaul in the governance to ensure justice, rule of law, accountability as well as the respect of human rights. This, they say, will curb agitations for self-determination and secession. Kemi Foladi Yemo has more in this. This year marks the 20th anniversary of honoring the legacies of fiery activist, lawyer and publisher Ganifawe Imiye Sien through this public lecture series that interrogates critical national issues. The program annually organized by the Keja branch of the Nigeria Bar Association started five years before the senior advocate of the masses, as he was popularly called, died at the age of 71. This time, speakers analyzed the factors fuel calls for secession. It is not one society when you have different gradations of law, different gradations of sensibilities towards that institution, that entity called justice. It is issues like that which, after a while, attains a critical mass a momentum of its own in which people say, listen, let's get out of this mess and form our own community. Today, the minimum wage of 30,000 Naira is, can only buy 48 liters. At the official exchange rate of 813, the minimum wage today is $37. If you slice Nigeria into 36 nations, it is not likely that progress will come. So that's the reason why we have to look at secession, in my view, as a tool for ensuring that those who lead us know that they have to keep working for our progress. They say a key solution to ending such agitations is to implement Chapter 2 of the Nigerian Constitution. We have always advocated for the enforceability of Chapter 2 of the Constitution in regard to the fundamental objectives and directive principles of state policy. And I believe Nigerians must be able to hold government accountable on matters contained in Chapter 2 as a matter of right. The people in my village don't want to succeed to anywhere. They sing national anthem to tomorrow. They don't, they don't want to go. They don't even connect with what you are saying. What they want is better life for themselves. Spurred by the lingering legacies of Gani Fawemi, his family, lawyers, traditional leaders and activists mount advocacy for peace and development in the country in the interest of the downtrodden. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.